Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. We're back with our series of video tutorials um, on Pro Tools. Okay, so today we're going to learn uh, one of the most uh, important routing functions and routing features in Pro Tools and most digital audio workstations, which is the use of Sends. Um, as you might know, uh, Pro Tools and once again, the vast majority of digital audio workstations are designed to work or to have the same workflow of an analog uh, multi-track console. And having sense is part of that. So when do you use sense? Well, you use sense when you want to route a signal um, or a copy of a signal to another device. For example, uh, when you want to route a dry guitar sound to a reverb unit or a dry vocal to a reverb unit. You typically use sense when you're doing parallel uh, parallel routing. Okay, it could be for time-based processing, for like reverbs and you know delays and things like that. Or you could also you do it for like parallel compression, uh, or when you want to route something to, let's say, a um, a device that's going to distort or saturate something. So every time you want to have a copy of a signal sent to another unit, you might want to use sends, okay? Especially when you want to control how much you're going to be sending. So today we have a guitar track here. It's a dry guitar. Let's go ahead and press play so, so that you have an idea of what's going on here. Okay, so you have the idea, right? It's just a dry guitar that I recorded the eye. So we're going to use sense today to send a copy of this guitar to a reverb unit. So how do we do that? Well, first, let's go ahead and switch to our mix window, just because I like working in the mix window for routing purposes. So if we go window, mix, here's our mix window. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that we can see our sense here. You can see the sense list A through E. If you don't see it, you can always go to view, Mix window view and enable the sense. In this case, the first batch of five, which is A through E. We could also see F through J, and that's there. Uh, but just let's just leave the very first group there. So we want to send a copy of this to, uh, in this case, an aux track where we're going to be setting up our reverb. So how do you do that? Well, if you go here and sense, and you simply click on an available slot, you got some options here. Uh, you can send to a bus, and then set the input of the aux to this bus, or um, you could easily just click on new track. Check this out. New track, and you want to do a stereo aux input, samples, time base, and then let's call this reverb. So what happened here um, is that Pro Tools created a send using a bus, it labeled the send as reverb, and then it also created an aux track, uh, which is a stereo aux track. It labeled it reverb, and it set the input of that to the same bus. Okay, so basically this send, uh, which if you simply just click here and then raise this level, that is the same copy of this track, this guitar track, sent through through this bus into these uh, reverb aux. So now there's one more thing that we want to do, and is we need to set a reverb device. So if we go on, on here in the inserts, we can simply click there and look for reverb. And just for the purpose of this, we'll, we'll use Dverb, which is Avid's uh, stock. So um, we're going to do something really obvious, like a big haul, right? Like six and a half seconds, 100% wet. And once again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the send. And here, here's what happens. This is all the way down. So if I just press play, nothing is being sent. Now if I press play and I gradually crank this up, I'm going to be gradually sending a copy of this guitar track into this reverb unit or this uh, deverb unit. And the the sonic result is going to be really obvious. You're going to start listening to that reverb happening. So let's give it a shot. So 
also, as you can see, you can use this send here, the send fader, to control how much verb you want to send in, or how much of the, of the dry signal you want to send into the reverb. So you can simply set this by ear. Okay, sounds about right there. Another cool thing, um, there are a couple options here. This one, follow main panner. So check this out. If you press and follow main panner, the pan pot from the original track is going to be set to the same place of the send. So if the original track is pan all the way left, then the send is also going to be pan all the way left. Now if I uh, disengage that, you can pan the send somewhere else, like for example the dry signal all the way left and then the wet all the way right, uh, just in case you want to you know, have some uh, more, I guess, creative sounds there. Uh, another cool thing, pre. This pre button is a pre fader option. If you click there, you can see it goes blue, and actually this goes blue too, telling you that this send here, this level, is taken before the actual fader of the track. So you can do things like, for example, pull down the actual dry guitar and then just send the wet signal. Which, once again, is going to sound um, pretty different, right? We typically never listen to just the reverb. We typically hear the dry and the wet sound. But you can get really creative there and obtain really nice effects by playing with a pre and post fader. By default, this is set to post fader, which means that the pre option is off or disengaged. Um, so when it is post fader, the this signal from this send is taken after this fader. Okay, so basically, this could be all the way up, but if this fader is all the way down, nothing will be sent through this fader. As you can see, you don't hear anything, but if I crank this up, so you get the idea. So that's how you use sense in Pro Tools, okay? Uh, once again, we demonstrated this for reverb, but you could use this for basically anything where you want to send a copy of your signal, okay, in parallel. So that's it for today. If you have any other questions, please call us uh, from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.